to happen. Uh, we are going to have a little hey, Q&A session, just a little open conversation. Um, we're going to be real interactive. Y'all can ask us whatever you want. Uh, and we will do our best to answer. If not, we'll have a safe word. <laughs> no, uh, thank you guys so much. And <laughs> no? All right. All right. Um, but no, we, uh, we're going to do it right here on the porch. It's a lovely day. Uh, if you guys want, we can just do it right here and we can kick it off. Yeah, it's a nice little shade. Uh, she's still? I don't know. I think, I think Connie's giving instructions too. But what she's saying is uh, we're going to do a Q&A for about 30 minutes. After that, we're going to open it up to just kind of be more interactive. We're going to go inside. We have merch for sale for anybody that wants to buy some T-shirts, oh, yeah. pictures. Um, we'll sign anything that you guys have that you want us to sign. Um, and then you can kind of lounge in this foyer area, or you can step into the like the, the living room space. You can lounge there. Um, and we're going to go to three, so it's just interactive. It's personable. Um, we can take as many pictures as you guys want. Feel free to ask us anything. Uh, and uh, make sure you thank Dan and Connie, and make sure you support their shop as well if this is your first time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, any questions? Let's do a Q&A here on the front porch. Like Question. you want to say, we'll move in on the inside shortly after. And take more pictures and shirts and all that. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. That episode will be playing in the presentation room. Yeah, we got hey, to get that in, Kat. I got to get that in. Let them know. What is the deal? Why did they cancel y'all? So, okay, okay first of all, y'all. Let's, let's oh, we're going right into it. Right into it. Let's go. 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 let us go that we're canceled. Why not? said canceled. Well, people don't, I'm, I'm, we're gonna be, I'm, at this point, we're going to be completely honest with y'all. Y'all have seen Ghost Brothers season one and two, the original, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that show just never came back. Then what happened? Like, on the house, no. On the house, yeah. yeah. See, that's because she got the bootleg shirt. It's because she got the bootleg shirt. Remember, that uh, show did. She said, Haunted House Friends. That's the show she won. Haunted House Friends did one season. And then after that, what happened? Lights Out came. Mm -hmm. We did two seasons of that. So if you see the pattern, after every two or one season, the show goes away, and then something comes back. So what's your next one? You were right. Working, working, working. working, 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 working. Yay! Working on oh, yes. No, so right now our podcast is being worked on. So right now we're Travel Channel Discovery. We're doing our podcast, Urban Legends with the Ghost Brothers. That airs, I want to say, with this summer probably? Podcast is supposed to air in June. In June, yeah. So that's, that's what we're working on currently. But for television... We're about to get back to that. So, yeah. So, don't worry, guys. Right. Oh, don't man. Worry. We don't know about Fright Club. Yeah, we don't know about... That's the only thing about Fright Club. We don't know about Fright Club. That's another project. But I can say... And now, don't, don't post this nowhere. No. It's all there. Right. But there might be another project with us and Jack. Cool. That's good. Yeah, cool. We're working on that really soon. Well, Jack's already posting it. What do you post? Well, not our what do you post? <laughs> he's, he's, working, he's getting ready to start working on a project with y'all. So you got word on the screen. Well, there you go. We just found that. Who do you work for? You know, Jack. So, yeah, so don't worry, y'all. This has always been the trend. Y'all are just seeing other people going through it now as well, other shows. Honestly, if y'all have been around since day one, like that story is we we have weathered the storm through mergers before. Yeah. So when we first went on DA, like they merged with Scripps Media and that's how we ended up on Travel Channel for Haunted House Guests. And so now they're going through another merger and that was with Warner Media. And so like that started with Discovery Plus and we went there and now they're trying to figure out what the next distribution outlet is going to be for their overall company and so we just have to weather that storm as well so don't worry guys they are not canceling us okay good no. you will cancel them we never came out and said that we hear it yeah but we can't be like ah this is going on because we signed contracts we're signed we got the gotcha. podcast going so just know you know we're, the we're last working. season that y'all had did and stuff when y'all did the conjuring and all that mm -hmm. stuff and everything I like how y'all come out. It's like, well, you haven't heard it from us, you know, and yeah. this and that. And I was like, you know what? That is good because I ain't talking about, but I know who you think thinks out there, you know, moving his mouth and stuff. Don't say it. 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 Don't say it
we got to do more. We all know. We all know. Yeah, that's like crazy. we all know the verbal war going on right now. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Say, man, we stay out the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <anybody else? laughs> we stay out the way, guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Any, any more questions? Over here? Duck and Grimes, Marie. I actually do have a question. Oh, hold on. Oh, what oh, 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 I got? She's got a question for you. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. For Marcus. Did you bring your clippers? Cause damn, man, these edges. Oh. <laughs> ah! oh. She's ready. Oh. Oh. She's ready. She's ready. Yeah. I, I'm gonna find some clippers for you. She wants you to do GB on the side. Oh, GB on the side. Okay. Okay. She's going back. She's going back wonky, man. It looked good though. Don't look good. good. We're gonna get you a do rag. Yes. We're gonna get you a do rag. Rhinestone do rag. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I watched an interview, well, many of your interviews, and you mentioned that way back when you guys were thinking about starting the show and everything, really couldn't find another black paranormal group or anybody in the paranormal field. Then there was another show. There was another show. Of course, it would make it because you guys are, you know, Ghost real. In Ghost in the Hood. I knew yeah. it was. Told yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. There was a show that came out right when it was. We came out. It was right after us, I believe. It's called Ghost in the Hood. Uh, they were in California, and their whole thing was they were going to haunted locations like random in the hood, I guess. That was yeah. the whole purpose. Oh, <laughs> they went to like a funeral home. Yeah. Yeah. It, theirs was very. Yeah, it, it was. was not yeah, they rode sure. around in like an RV. Yeah, it was awful. The dude wore a velour suit. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't take yeah, the solution yeah. serious. Because yeah. It, it, was, it was like they were making fun of they, the situation. It, it, it felt. We talked about this when we shot our show. It like, yeah. how do we come off earnest and not like a spoof, right? Because like, we still want to respect the idea of a paranormal investigation. Y'all did it right. Though, so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shoot back over here. <laughs> but no, it was. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely uh, eye opening to see the two different perspectives of how to approach paranormal from like uh, a diverse standpoint. Yeah. You know, we yeah. Kind of, we weathered it again. Yeah. Pick out locations when for the show, or do they do it for you? It's a mixture of both. Yeah. It's a, so why have we been to Jefferson yet? Because you know that Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. Jefferson. Yeah. Is your mom uh, yeah. You know that place. Yeah. 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 Where Eddie is. I don't know. But I don't know. Right. Wait. 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 They're talking about uh, Jeremy and Pam. So, yeah. That's Eddie the dog on Friday yeah. with Jeremy. Yeah. They're friends with We had a question over here? That's where you should go. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm going to look into that. We had a question over here, somebody? Okay. Right. Yeah. What's the most, like, south place that you'll travel here in Texas? Because like, we're from the valley, you know, and we have Brownsville, the port is right there. Well, what used to be the port, now it's like the city. And we went with a paranormal group to go investigate over there. And we had a good time, and it was like, you know, we just want to, we're curious. The furthest I've ever investigated to south in Texas is Galveston. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah. 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 We'll go, we're, we're open, though. We'll yeah. go. Yeah. If you can give us a location, by all means. Meet us in Terralingua. Terra Lingua. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Quick, quick question. Yeah. Is there an airport? Wait, does, does anybody no. know of no. any haunted locations near beaches or <laughs> maybe Hawaii? Maybe Hawaii. None of y'all know none of them. I mean, all no, cabin in the woods. Come on. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah. Where? In Brownsville. Brownsville. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been to Brownsville. Uh, no, I've never been to Brownsville. You've been to Bollinger? I've never been to Bollinger. I've never been to Bollinger. I love it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 I've been dealing with that a lot lately. Like, uh, so the YouTube series I've been doing the graveyard shit. I've been getting a lot of feedback from uh, spiritual warriors, I call it, and telling me I'm going to hell. I'm not, uh, you know, abiding by the Bible. I'm speaking to demons. All of this stuff, and I and I know what the Bible said, right? My mother's a pastor. I grew up with it. So now, as an adult, I'm seriously dealing with that every day because I just don't feel like. All right, here's my thing. 
Like, if God is supposed to be my father, like, I feel like I should be able to ask my father questions that I don't understand, mm -hmm. no matter what those questions are. And that's the same as talking to the spirit world. Right. So I just feel like, if, like I'm not out there trying to conjure up the lottery numbers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm not trying to argue. I tried. I tried one. I tried one. You're not focused. I tried one. You're not focused. It's a numbers game. You're not blessed. Because you're not focused. You're not locked in. You're not focused. You're not focused. No. But I feel like it's based on your intentions. And I just feel like... I feel like the Bible has been translated so many times in so many different ways and so many different interpretations. Right. The difference that between you just, your I, you know translation and transcribing. Exactly, exactly. It's so, trying to hard when you, you know, you're focusing on the Bible and stuff like that, and you got all these other religions out here telling you that brings this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just try to stay respectful, and I, I feel like God knows my heart. Like, I've always been taught that he knows your heart. So even in my ignorance, I feel like he knows, he knows my heart. I know, he, he he knows. Damn, no, I won't be lottery no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. So, how they gonna ever come? When's the big sis going to come? He don't want you to Have y'all ever been somewhere, like, with your friends and family, just out, having fun, and then you see something, and you're like, whoa, this place is, like, super haunted, and then you take, should I tell somebody that works here or lives here? Or yes. Like, Yes. <laughs> our one of our best friends, she's like our sister. Um, she doesn't live in this house anymore, so it's cool when we talk about it. But like, <laughs> we went, we went to visit her house, and I mean, as soon as Daniel and I both walked in, we looked at each other and was like, "No, oh, you feel that upstairs? Like, her house is haunted. Like, I'm like, I don't know how to tell her, but like, but she's from New Orleans, so like, she believes. Yeah. In oh her. yeah, and everything's like, haunted oh, in New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> so it's like she really believes in like the spiritual realm, but like. We walked in her home. And I was like, "Ah, oh, this is this is haunted. There's something about her home." And this is after our first season of Ghost Brothers. Yeah, I was like, it was like that. My home, my room here is haunted. I guarantee. You. Yeah, we saw that on the uh, so so parlor. What's it called? What's it called? Preston's parlor. What's, 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 what's the room called that I'm staying in? Preston's parlor. Uh, Preston's parlor. Preston's parlor. Yeah, that was the one I was That's your room. Yeah. That was you last night. Yeah. 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 Oh no. Let me she, find out. She was a spoon. She was a spoon. She was a spoon. I was a little spoon for sure. Oh my God. That was a weird experience. Come on, my buddy. You were not gentle at all. My hands are pouring. Man, hey. 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 I got a, I got a question. Yes, sir. So, there is an origin to every story, you know. So each one of you guys up there, or you gentlemen, what happened in your life to make you guys here and to do what you're doing? Well, I was bit by a spider <laughs> a long ago, a long time ago. Me and my uncle were chilling. His name was Ben. But <laughs> was it your uncle or the spider? <laughs> I don't know. I just been able to climb walls ever since. <laughs> 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 I've been in your neighborhood, uh, popping the trunk, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> nah, man, we actually just like um, a lot of brothers meet, you know. Um, they met me in the barber shop. What, what happened to you specifically? Like, what got, you got in me into this? Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all, they met me at the barber shop. Because <laughs> I wasn't into that. You know, I was doing like a lot of like, I was a... You were stripping at the time. I was yeah. stripping. I was stripping <laughs> late in the, early in the morning, late at night. I was getting. I knew. Tooth. I knew. I lo you looked familiar before the show came out. <laughs> I'm talking about hot <laughs> winters and cold summers, baby. <laughs> Long back day. You don't even want to talk about that. My stage name was Hot Ham and Cheese. I, I don't want to that. I'm leaving that in the past, though. I'm leaving Why Hot Ham and Cheese, though? Because I was sticking to the roof of your mouth. Baby. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> But no, um, no, yeah, me and Daly and I were actually on a show together. I was cutting hair, and the creator of the show had uh, Daly as like the um, star of the show. Him and another brother of ours named Anthony Dalton. And I came in, and we just started rocking, and they just decided to put me in the joint, and we just all kind of became tight. So after that, it was like a 12-week shoot for a 20-minute episode. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that 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 I, I don't think y'all really understand. It was a 12-week shoot. It took us 12 weeks to shoot 20 One? minutes. One? Oh, my goodness. One 20-minute. This is an independent project in Atlanta. 
Okay. We found on Craigslist. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> but that's how we met, though. No, but that's how we met. And look, we would it's not like be 20 named. years ago. So one person's dream, and I and I gotta give I gotta get a job. You know, props because he was trying. That Spielberg guy. That's okay, cool. Yeah, that's you gonna wait till that? Oh. Oh. Go. Okay. You tell me. Okay. <laughs> She's digging in the closet. But so what happens is. Um, you know, me and Dale just continued to be cool. I get, he would come get his hair cut at the shop. And um, him and Juwan were roommates. I'll let y'all kind of jump into that part. But uh, at this point, like, Dale was like, man, you know what? I got this idea. You know, I don't know if you down with it, but I'm about to go ghost hunting, bro. What's up? <laughs> I was like, that'll be $8. Get out of here. <laughs> but, like, he kept coming back. Like, and uh, I was like, you know what? That is kind of a dope idea. Yeah, shoot, I'm down. And then from, it was, like, random. As soon as I said I'm down, we had, like, two Zoom joints. And then this is how I really got to paranormal. So I was like, okay, everything's good, yeah. I thought it was just a dream at first. It's like, you know, okay, we just playing around. Ain't nothing really about to happen. We got a call to go to Savannah. And we go to Sorella's Weed House. And, um... We're in there, and they put me in the room by myself. I'm like, okay, this is starting to get real. <laughs> I'm in the room by myself, and um, they start having me doing these little weird, like, things, recording stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm starting to hear voices out there. I'm like, all right, guys, now this is dumb. Because I just wanted to cut hair. You know what I'm saying? But now, like, look at where we at now, man. We're on the, on the porch. In Ballard, Texas. In Texas. Texas. <laughs> it don't get no better. It don't get no better than this. That's right. It don't get no better than this, you know? Yeah, you told, you told me about the beach. I, I need to know about that. So, <laughs> I mean, but that, ever since then, man, the, the interest has been there. The It's just been cool to meet you guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the dopest part about it. Like, seeing people who are interested in that spiritual world, who are, like, you know, trying to have those same questions that we have. And we're asking them. We're getting the, the information ourselves. And we're passing them to you guys, and y'all passing us information. It's just a dope, not only just a, it's not a hobby, it's a, a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And I like that everybody's able to include and just be who they are in this joint. So, yeah, that's how we got, that's how I got on the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, For me, man, uh, I had an experience when I was like seven. So, I'm from Texas, born and raised in Dallas. Uh, my mother's side is from Jefferson, Texas. It's East Texas. My father's side is from McKamey, Texas, which is uh, 50 miles west of Odessa. Uh, and so I was visiting my father's mother, as I did every spring break and summer. And uh, one particular spring break I was there, I had an older cousin that lived out there. So she was probably like 21, 22. She had a friend. Her best friend was dating a guy. He worked for like animal control, so he had a big rifle in his car. For some reason, they got into a domestic That's dispute. Yeah, right? <laughs> he went outside, got the gun, he shot his girlfriend, and he shot himself with the rifle. She lived, he died. It's a very small town. McCain is very, very small. Everybody knows everybody. So my grandmother and her friend decided to go view the body of the young man a couple days after it happened. So they took me. It was my first time I remember like seeing a dead body like in, in a casket. And we went to the wake. Nobody else was in the, in, the, in the space. And they walked me to the front. And the lady asked me, my, my grandmother's friend asked me at seven, like, she said, Dalen, have you ever touched a dead body before? <laughs> sure, lady. That's not, I mean, all the time. That's my hobby. Play baseball, <laughs> football, and touch dead bodies. <laughs> Every Saturday morning. This lady grabbed my hand. Oh, no. And she Whew. put it on the chest of this young man that had just committed suicide. Well, a murder suicide attempt. And uh, I remember just jacking my hand back, man, and just running out of that room, like, terrified. And I'll never forget that night, I was sleeping on my grandmother's couch, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I looked in the kitchen, and literally standing in that, dang, that door frame was that same young man. And I could, he had literally a white shirt, a gray suit jacket, and a skinny black tie. This was like, this was like 95. Like, I remember to this day, I, what he looks like, what he was wearing, how he was standing, like it terrified me, man. And I just always just wondered as I got became an adult, like what was that? Like did I really see what I saw? Was it a dream? But like now I understand what like what an attachment is. I know by me touching this and touching him and 
you know, being afraid and being the fear and like all that energy, like no telling what I might have brought back to my grandmama's house. But that's her fault, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> she, she hanging around bad influence. <laughs> you 70. That's her friend. And your y'all best friend. Y'all, y'all got a gang y'all done started, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting initiated. Now you ain't graveyard. Right, right. Now you in graveyard. You're ours now. Hey, right. <laughs> Come on, get your seat of figure. Huh? How long did you see the figure? It was only there for probably, if I had to just say, it was probably maybe three or four seconds. Was he standing like he was in the 90s? Man, listen. <laughs> I, <laughs> like he was in the 90s? Marcus, this is the, like the, the door frame. Uh -huh. He was just like this. Oh, yeah, that's a 90s pole. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess so, no, if, his leg, if his leg was like that, and he did this. He had on that suit jacket, the shirt, the pants. Oh, if he took the jacket over and did like that. It all depends on how baggy the suit was. Look at that, baby. 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 That's it. Um, my first experience was actually in a graveyard. Uh, so my family is from the south as well as Mississippi. Um, they're like off the Gulf Coast. And there's a cemetery like across the street from my grandmother's house. So it's like, say this is my grandmother's house, graveyard's probably the grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, and so like with the kids in the neighborhood, like we dare each other at night to kind of run through the graveyard. So I decided to take the dare one night and I was running through this graveyard and like while I was running, I felt like something was running behind me, almost chasing me, right? And like when I turn around, I don't see anybody. Uh, and I'm like, all right. So I'm still, I start picking up speed. And I'm like, at this moment, I'm asking myself, like, are you even out, able to outrun a ghost? You know what I'm saying? Is that a thing? Uh, so I'm still running and running. No, you were looking. <laughs> booking. Did you know back in the 90s, it was booking. Oh, yeah. You were running. You were booking. Thank I felt like... Bless you. Bless you, bro. Thank bless you. I felt like Benny the Jet Rodriguez off Sandlot. Oh, oh, yes. The dog was chasing me out. Whoa. Whoa. Not to cut you off. Do you know Stacy has never seen Sandlot? Oh, your wife? My <laughs> wife has <laughs> never... I should have seen if you're watching this... Oh, my God. Right? Get all the way. That is... Hey, get your Kill paperwork in order or yeah. go see Sandlot. No Kill joke. Kill it, small. Yeah, no joke. Maybe that's even here no there, but right. that's wow. Something to tell you all that. Wow. Why did you not? Y'all didn't learn about Why that? Why did I marry her? I don't know. <laughs> 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 not, I don't know. We're not even talking about that in therapy. Right. Right. She's she's seen, seen 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 last I was about to ask the same thing. What about Little Rascal? Little Giants. Like, come on. Like, we, now I gotta go. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're questioning oh, everything now. now. No, I gotta have a conversation with her. <laughs> Okay, so you was booking. I was so you were booking. booking it. I was booking it. I was booking it. Uh, made it to the like no, to the other side of the cemetery um, and turned around and never saw anything, saw anyone. And I just at that moment it's like my first paranormal experience. Um, and then it wasn't until like I was in my teenage years, twenty years old, I come to find out that cemetery that I was running through was family owned. And so like I had ancestors buried on that land, and I don't know if it was like. I, being chased by my ancestors, or it's like, yo, they were just trying to get my attention, but it was definitely. What if they didn't like you? I don't know, right? What if I was doing something wrong? No, what if they didn't like you? What if your ancestors don't like you? That's crazy. How would you feel? I would feel okay. Yes. It's not okay with my ancestors or not. You can't. You can't even. You're holding to the opinions of my ancestors. Right. They just wanted to race. That's all it is. That could have been it. That's it. Um, <laughs> what? I do want. I want to show. Um, but you're talking about attachments. Did, did any of you feel like you've ever had an attachment that something has followed you home? Definitely, or did you had something that's <laughs> definitely. Item that's like definitely. Maybe like Marcus, your wife said, no, that's not go. Marcus. That's gotta go. I just told you who it was. It wasn't Marcus. <laughs> Mark, 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 Marcus' wife don't play no nothing like that. <laughs> She don't take no side ghosts. None of them. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> Who's boo was you? No. Uh, but, uh, nah, you had an attachment, didn't you? Because uh, you had a little homeboy named Ta Tattoo. Ta 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 who got, got a house phone? Who got WhatsApp going on? <laughs> 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 you are, I, my son! Okay. Oh, okay. You know, what's that? That's the Cheetah app now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they get caught now. You got somebody <laughs> overseas. I know what's going on. Right. <laughs> right. 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 International. Yeah. Yeah. That is. She has to open the door. Oh, 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 oh. Antonio, I'll call you back. Rodriguez. I'll call you back.
Fat lover. I met him in Cancun. You got a little spicy in your life. I know what's going on. I wear I met him in Cancun. I love affair that I couldn't remember. But yes, man. So, uh, no, we've had a couple things where, like, you, we always kind of like pray ourselves, you know, down so that nothing kind of attracts us. We have kids. You know yeah, I had, I had, uh, I never. Yeah, we were in California investigating something, and uh, we have this app on my phone to where I can look in my daughter's crib while she sleep just to she's make sure beautiful. that she's. Thank you, I appreciate oh, that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. But I remember one night I woke up and it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. We had just gotten off an investigation and I looked to check on her and I, honest to God, I see this white mist on the camera hovering over my baby. My heart dropped. I'm, I'm calling Stacy. She not answering the phone. She finally picks up the phone after like the third or fourth time. And she's like, Dana, what's wrong? I said, please go check on Axel. Like there's a mist hovering over her. She said, boy, that's the humidifier. <laughs> but y'all, my heart. Yeah, my baby. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. My baby. Yeah. <laughs> I thought my job had caught up to me, y'all. Oh, my heart is my past. <laughs> right. My past is my heart. Golly. But yeah, it was a damn humidifier. Oh, man. <laughs> my past but for that, but that. 15 seconds? You That's win. so I don't never want to You was done with Paranormal Oh, man. You about to put up. You about to put the ghost, bro. I was, I, I, in my heart, I really felt like it was my fault in that moment. I was like, damn, something I did is affecting my child, and I'm a thousand miles away. And Stacy ain't even seen Sandlot. So how the hell she gonna do? She gave him puncture through life. She gave him puncture through life. It's <laughs> Was the body bag. That was you the one, wasn't it? You yeah. the one. Oh, yeah. man. But we went, Terrible. you know, Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Almost died in that body bag. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he, got got he looked like he was cooking in that body bag. Of, you know, myself and another team member there at Waverly and everything. But when we saw y'all in the body bags, it's bad enough going down the tunnel as it is. <laughs> but doing it, and then um, my, our other team member, Kathy, I tried, she wanted to get into the more shelves. And I, I looked at her and I said, you're going to get fleas or something. <laughs> so, you know, so I talked her out of it. But we're fixing to go to Jamaica in September. Rose Hall. Rose Hall. I mean, don't think that, you know, what could be some like really good questions. Uh, you know, all the standard questions, what is your name? Yeah. I need you to, uh, <laughs> I, need you to I need you to holler at Taku. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, he was one of the slaves there. Uh, we got beef because me and him was kind of trying to talk to the same. So maybe one, so. <laughs> for me too. Uh, but yeah, so maybe check in with Taku. Check in with Annie. Uh, what else happened to Rose Hall? Y'all got, y'all got anything? That cabinet, that wardrobe opened. The wardrobe opened, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Stalin, have you ever been to Lake Texoma? <laughs> I have not been to Lake Texoma. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah north of Dallas. Uh-uh. I, I, I've heard it for sure. I've never been. That's the area uh, where I'm from. Okay. 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 It's got beaches there. <laughs> right. They are really pulling your Texas car, right, right? bro? <laughs> so when you guys would film your episodes and you all have the cameras, I always wondered how come you all never have like a POV type of camera so we can see exactly what you're seeing. Because you gotta like be comfortable with that. Cause you be so caught up in what you're doing if you're not used. Cause they try to give us handheld cameras the first season. Are you like the little head thing to where the camera's like right? You would have to put it on our face because you want me to hold it. It's gonna be down here. It's gonna be all over here. <laughs> or maybe we'd have to strap uh, like a GoPro or something to the chest. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was times like on, on, on other shows where they were saying, did you see that? I just saw it right in front of me and the camera was like facing that way and they're looking over there. Yeah. So it just kind of like... It takes a different type of camera person to shoot yeah. paranormal. And yeah. we had to yeah. learn that a few seasons in the Ghost Brothers. Yeah. Like it, it's not your typical camera person. Like they have to damn near specialize. Because they, they have to know how to get little. They have to know how to be invisible. They have to know how to be quiet. Yeah. They have to know how to like. It's a lot of stuff that goes into shooting yeah. paranormal specifically. So and if we're talking about like the rim pods going off, don't don't shoot me saying the rim pods going off. Right. Shoot yeah. the rim pods. So it takes, you know what I mean? Like 
that's why most shows use a lot of the same sound people and camera people for the paranormal. Okay. I always wonder how come the young nobody ever. Wore it's a little bit of both, uh-huh. to be honest. This production is it's, it's tough for me to investigate and hold that camera up. Like my first few investigations, it was probably all ground. It was all ground, or yeah, or you see me running or something like that. It's not usable footage. Yeah. Uh, What's the name? Yeah. Broke his arm. Yeah, yeah, people get hurt, hurt. Yeah. Uh, and then they quit, uh, or just couldn't come back. Look, or just are they in uh, litigation with the show right now? We don't know either <laughs> one. We don't know what they're doing, but they are getting paid. Uh, I mean, but we have had situations like that where you know um, the atmosphere of where we were doing our investigation they got very thick, and a gentleman fell. And shattered his elbow, oh. and it wasn't even like a the fall that he made. You wouldn't have thought it was going to do all that. Shit. But then you thought, <laughs> oh yeah. But then, then he, we were on a, we were on a, a Native American like ground, ground yeah. And the the Native American gentleman that was telling us about the land, he made it clear that the spirits there can sense your energy, and if they feel like you're bad, they would do whatever it takes to get you out of there. And yeah, our cameraman, seriously, he said he felt like he got pushed. And yeah, he fell and he broke his elbow. And we didn't, he didn't come back the rest of the season. Now, I'm not saying his energy was wrong. <laughs> but it wasn't right. <laughs> but we were warned. <laughs> and then you, that happened. Get your heart in order. And then all of a sudden, his elbow out of place. What's each of yours uh, as far as active locations that you feel is the most active that you've actually investigated? Do you each have a different one that you think is more active? Than another, or do y'all agree on the same? Um, uh, after, I feel like after this last season, so I'll after this last season, we went to all the different, like, the bucket list of paranormal locations. You know what I mean? We did Trans Allegheny, Waverly Hills, all the Ohio State Reform. After this last season, I would say we'd all agree that it was probably like Allen House. Yes. That was, it was intense for my second yeah. season of Ghost Brothers. But this one, I don't know what it is, because mine would probably be like, Waverly or Trans Allegheny. I feel like everywhere we went this season was just yes. nothing disappointing. The yes. Conjuring House was cool. Yes. Bobby Mack, like that was cool. The bed shaking you on it. I knew what was going on. What is it? When the bed shaking you on it. Oh, yeah. Nah. Yeah, they didn't realize either. They thought I was playing. No. I was like, no, I the bed's moving. Like, yeah. Oh, I saw it. And the door yeah. opening up. I wasn't up. rocking yeah. it. You feel I've been no. singing it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Well, it's halfway. It depends if we're in a. I'm gonna, you want to tell the story? If we're in a, if we're in one of rural area, not so much. But if we're in a city area, yes. And we were in a city area at this one point in Cleveland, Ohio. Tell them about it. <laughs> no, we was at the House of Wheels. Yeah. And uh, it had to be like three o'clock in the morning. We were filming and investigating, and then production is just like we have to stop filming, and we're like, why? And it was like. Someone came in off the street and they're lost inside of this megaplex that we're in. So a homeless tell, guy. Tell about the megaplex first, though. So the House of Wheels is a forty thousand square foot megaplex. It's a dilapidated building. They call it a portal to hell. It's just it's horrible. Everything. It's a satanic church currently. Uh, it's it's horrible. If the devil had an Airbnb. That would that would probably be. But a homeless guy, it was cold outside. He stumbled inside, trying to get warm. Oh my God. If you've never heard a homeless man scream from inside of a hunting, oh my God. Hey, what the hell? Oh, shit. What is shit? It's gone. Turn the lights on. No, he got it. He got it. Help me. Help me. Let's get the words. It was crazy. It took us two hours to find this man. We said we were going to go up the ground. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I don't think they found him. It was, no, man. After a certain point, they was like, all right, we have to continue filming. So, like, <laughs> and all you hear in the background is, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's you! Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me! <laughs> talking about, I'm back I, here! How you know it's two hours? It's two hours! <laughs> y'all have been sitting there for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was horrible. But yeah, but yeah, Sorry. you do. The elements can be a, yeah. lot, a lot worse than the spirits, for, for sure. sure. Sometimes, you know, with us, like we said before, you know, we were typically doing, you know, smaller towns, towns that have like older facilities, you know, old jails in it. So you don't really have that too much of a worry until 
you know, I don't know. It's just I don't have that that worry. But like when we went to like Cleveland, Detroit, <laughs> you know, these di different spots that we've gone to, you know, where it's like, okay, this might be where Candyman started. You know? <laughs> and, uh, this is where he trained. You're right. <laughs> oh, so this is where Candyman trained. <laughs> His training facility. His training, training facility. facility. <laughs> Michael Myers, right over there. Okay, the working out facility. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, man. Kind of like LA Fitness. It's the LA Fitness. <laughs> okay, this is where everybody work out. Okay. okay, but yeah, man, it's just uh, it's it's cool though, cause you got to keep your head on the swivel though, you know, cause this thing you never know who is, you know, maybe somebody who's like really into the paranormal. Who might kind of say, hey, I wanted to investigate with y'all. <laughs> we didn't even know you was here today. Or, or you know what I'm saying? It just might be somebody who like, who has actually had an experience there too. Yeah. Right. And might have had some type of thing happen to them. Yeah. And might even be drawn I'm to that to place. That right. you got to kind of also watch out for too. So, you know, it's a lot. This a man. Which of all the paranormal equipment out there, what's your favorite? Mm. I like the SLS cam when it works. When it works. <laughs> exactly. yeah. and when that's the most sometimey piece of equipment. You gotta, you gotta use the SLS cam like it's a Nintendo cartridge. You know, you got blow in it. It's not all black. And then it stays up for it. You gotta press up, down, up, down, left, beat. Yeah. I know you knew that one. I know you know that code. The app is one thing, but when you, like, I built a SLS, yeah. you're right. When it works, it's great, yeah. but it's like, but now, I, I, what we now? Do like, we do tend to, like, lean on our own, like, natural... Your body uh, is your best piece Yeah, and our, and our inquisitive minds. Because typically, you know, when we're doing, a, you know, EVP, you know, we're at the better questions you ask, the better results you typically get. So if you're able to like ask something that's more in depth with the story there, the actual what happened there, that you can kind of be familiar with who's there, you're able to get a lot more than just if you're like, is there any spirits in here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you know the people or know what's there, then you can kind of like really have a very active type of investigation. And that's coming from an expert. Because I am now. You are. Yes. <laughs> we gotta get badges. I'm I did that. I did that. Can we get a pouch? <laughs> Something. Okay. Danny pack. 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 Like to make it professional. Yes, yes ma'am. You said you like small towns. Have you guys ever considered going to Atchison, Kansas? No, Ooh, it's so small, yeah. I don't even know what Atchison, yeah. Kansas is. <laughs> if you look up McIntyre Villa. McIntyre Villa. Okay. Yeah. Sally, Sally House. House. Sally House. Sally House. It's kind of lame now. It's yeah. not like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The McIntyre Villa is super active. McIntyre We have Villa. never McIntyre been there. And she actually knows the owner really well. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe y'all just give us, uh, everybody write down a... For sure. Yeah. We'll get a piece of paper. Yeah. And everybody write down a location the that's great. that you want us to go to. And we'll go through that. That's a great idea. How about that? Like that oh, yeah. We can take a couple more questions, then we can transition to the inside. We can take some more pictures, autographs. And and on the inside, there are legitimate pop the trunk shirts and gray shirts. No paper. I mean, hey, can I get a dollar from me? <laughs> so yeah, y'all come in and get Sorry, pictures and everything. What do you guys, I know you enjoy, you'll say just like, you know, I'll do. Um, what do you guys like to do in your free time? Because you guys have to take that mental break from, yeah. you know, so, yeah. I mean, spend time with family, you know, reading books. Not that spend time with I mean. family, work yeah. out, and travel. That's a great idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I love I definitely dry traveling, dry traveling and spending time with my little daughter and my wife. Uh, yeah, I'm a big right. movie buff. I love watching movies, going to the movies. Yeah, man. I, I like creating. Like, I'm really big on, like, content creating right now. Really? Yeah. Hey. He's there. Hey. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, <laughs> man. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Come at me. I'm a man. Have you ever, like, went No, my uncle was House of Wheels. Yeah. I mean, like, see, they, they, yeah, he won't go in. No. They gonna always say, yeah, they down for everything, cause that's what. But with me kind of being like the re reluctant one, every location we went to for the first season, I was like, why we gotta do this? You know? <laughs> like, we will, you know, the one that got me a little bit, and I and I never told y'all this, Delta Queen. We was on the Delta Queen, and um, I was in a room by myself, and I kind of got you know, turned around, and everybody was that way, and I was this way up. 
<laughs> where is everybody? <laughs> so, you know, we've had a lot of situations where it's like, but I mean, it's, it's made me more courageous, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm courageous. It's definitely like the real thing. That has the D word involved. I Google everything. Like literally, I go on Google and I try to find and read any website, any review. I go on Yelp. Like seriously, I go all over the place and just try to see what people put on the internet about places. People are pretty honest. Like they'll voice their opinion. You know what I mean? Good or bad online. So you can find a lot, a lot of information. Even with the House of Wheels. The, like we told the producers, season one of Ghost Brothers, we didn't want to do anything demonic. demonic. This is our first time coming yeah, into the paranormal. Keep the devil away from us. And they was like, for sure. We never will take y'all anywhere. And they were like, devil, can you come on up? <laughs> devil, find one. Devil, find one. We got you ready. They signed the contract. But, yeah. but we didn't know the location we got to was that until we were sitting in front of it and we, one of us was like, let's Google this place. And all the first thing that popped up was devil. Yep. <laughs> and then the word started on the way. And we was like, yeah, we would have never known if we didn't just simply Google where we were going. How do you differentiate between just, you know, le you know urban legends versus what's actual history, what's what actually really You got to go for yourself. You got to go and check yeah. it out. So even in The Conjuring, The Conjuring House, mm -hmm. we, we based all of our thoughts off the movie. Yeah. And then we, Andrea is our one of our closest friends. And she lived it. I love you guys. Don't do her voice like that. Do her voice like that. She's like Marcus. You're so beautiful. She does like real. Andrew get real touchy. I'm like, I don't know now, but you don't know what I am, Andrew. Marcus, you're so lovely. Andrew, you make me feel uncomfortable, baby. You make me feel uncomfortable. But I don't want to tell you to stop. Right. But I kind of like that. I don't want to tell you to stop. Conjure me up. Conjure me up. <laughs> no, she's she the best her. person she's ever. She's but like, hearing her, her, her experiences, after, she's just like, the movie did this thing, no yeah, justice. No justice. None. None. Yeah. She so said they got thrown people. across the room at one time. I was like, okay, watch your stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we had 10 more payments. We had 10 more payments. How right, many hours a night do you uh, investigate in this film? Too much. Too much. No, it varies per location, so but um, we be tired, man. Very good. We'll go uh, about five, about five hours. Five no, hours. no, 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 bro. We started at five. Well, yeah, we begin there about five or six. We don't lead to about three or four, man. Yeah, That's so we go in. Is that consecutive nights or is that just yes. space out? You do, so you, it takes Tuesday. five days to film a show and you probably get two investigative nights. Yeah, you do like Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then, we just do, and then we do a lot of the street, you know, like research and stuff like that. So we talk to a lot of people, a lot of interviews, interviews, a lot of people who are on witnesses. Yeah, so like, you know, we all interview somebody who had experience there or who's had some type of, you know, situation going on. So, I mean, it's it's tedious. It's not it's not the it's not for the, the faint of heart. Show up and do your thing and then go home. Yeah, it's not like you know. I'm all right. <laughs> Anybody in here? I mean, television is very. All right, like, let's go, yo. Shooting, like production itself is a lot of hurry up and wait. Yeah. So like you get there, you get ready to film, and then something happens. It's like oh, we gotta wait for daylight, or you know, we gotta wait for sound, or something happens where you're kind of sitting around for for some time. Then what like, you gotta wait on? <laughs> How long have you guys been here? Where? In Ballinger, investigating. Man, I came here back oh, at 7 a.m. midnight. We got here about midnight. Yeah. 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 But I've been here since I was a young child. Yeah. Yeah. Like 30 yeah. Whatever. Young child. <laughs> Say it again. All of it down. Which, which here? Which? Two weekends. May 12th. Oh, it's May 12th. Mm -hmm. This one here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. May 12th. I didn't know that. We're not going to be on that one, though. We do need to. Yeah, that's cool. That Any more questions, then we'll go ahead on to the inside. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Great, <laughs> Bart. Now, who reviews your evidence? Do you guys sit there and do it? Goes at all? We do, we do and the producers. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Team have to do it. Yeah. 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 Super team. Because all those hours, yeah. Yeah. you know, there's a lot of times where we'll just be sitting in, in the room and just be, you know, chilling, and somebody from... The editing, my brother. Y'all didn't hear that? And we never caught it, you know what I'm saying? Because 
12 hours worth of investigating yeah, time. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of eyes and ears. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I guess you know where we can take these eyes and ears. Mm -hmm. right, inside. right on inside, guys. We're gonna be sitting <laughs> up at the table. If anybody would like to get any, like, you know, 